Good morning, today I'm going to be doing a breakdown of my daily expenses to show you just how cheap you can travel Budapest. So according to my phone, as of the moment, 500 foreign is about £1.43, 1,000, £2.87, 2,000, £5.74, and let's say 10,000, £28.74. So here's what my hostel looks like. So as you can see, this is my hostel room. It's very spacious. During the week, it cost only £5.61, but that did go up at the weekend to £12. And also on one or two other days, it was £9. But it averaged out at about seven or eight pounds a day um, over the six nights that I've stayed here. As you can see, it also included a kitchen, so you can cook your own food. There's an oven down here. There's a few pans in there. There's cutlery, there's plates. So if you want to know, the name of this hostel is 11th Hour Cinema Hostels. Um, check them out. They're in a good location in Budapest and really cheap if you want to go under 10 pounds on average per night. So firstly, my hostel costs about an average of £7.94 per night. So we're going to start with that total today. So for breakfast this morning, I had some yoghurt, which was 299 forint. Then I had a banana, which was about 69 forint and also some of my own water, which I filled up myself. I'm heading now to the House of Terror, which I'm gonna to add to my daily total as today's attraction. In previous days, I've been to the Parliament, the Shoes on the Danube, St. Stephen's Basilica, Buda Castle, Fisherman's Bastion, Gellert Hill, the Central Market. You can go to all those places for free. The only thing you have to pay for is if you go inside any of them. One of the main things to do in Budapest is to go to one of the spas. I haven't actually managed to achieve that because I've had food poisoning for the last four days and on my first time in Budapest, I originally planned to go to one of the bath spas after I got back from Lake Balaton and it just hasn't worked out. But if you go to one, then it costs about 2,000 forint. Just been to the House of Terror Museum on 60 Andrasi Avenue behind me. Really, really good. Recommend you go if you're in Budapest. It tells you a lot about the history of Hungary during the Soviet occupation and also Nazi occupation. It's a very sad museum, similar to Auschwitz. I've also been there and I haven't been to a museum that moved me as much since I've been to Auschwitz as that one. Entrance is 2,000 foreign, but if you're a student in the UK or in the EU, then it's only 1,000 foreign, so for me, it was just a thousand to get in. I'm allowed to take pictures or videos inside the museum, so I couldn't quite capture um, anything from the inside. Giros, which is usually pretty cheap. You can get them for beneath 1,500. So for about three or four pounds. Pasta, 990 foreign. 390 foreign for a pizza slice. Fish and chip street food, most of them. In fact, all of them beneath a thousand. Here's some Hungarian food, goulash soup, beef stew, pork fillet. Original wok bar. I've done this a few times. You choose your base for a thousand, and then you choose your topping, which meat or vegetables you want, and then you choose your sauce for free. These sandwiches are actually a bit more on the pricier range by Budapest standards. I'm going to be going for the smoked salmon, 1,680. That was really good, but for Budapest, those prices are extortionate. <laughs> Normally you pay 600 foreign, 700 foreign, even 400 foreign for a sandwich for lunch. That's what I've been doing every day, but today I bought the salmon burger and it was 1,680. 
and 800 for the wedgies and 380 for the mineral water give me a total of 2800 for one meal which is about eight pounds which is still you know in the uk you'd probably pay that how much is beer you can get half a liter for 350 or 0.3 for 210 you can see most beers are really cheap remember 500 hungarian foreign is one pound 50 gives you an idea how cheap the drinks are. It's evening time now, I'm looking for something to eat. Um, and I'm on one of the tight roads in the middle of the old Jewish ghetto. I'm going to be looking at some more traditionally Hungarian food. Here you can see a Hungarian plate, 1,200 foreign per person, which is basically bread, vegetables, and sausages, and bacon and some main courses, most of them under 2,000. More Hungarian food. So that was my dinner, Transylvanian sauerkraut with pork and sour cream. So that was worth 1,800 foreign. So that brings me to a total of all today's expenses. The total spend of today is 8,768 foreign, which is just about 25 pounds. I could definitely have done this cheaper if I didn't spend so much on lunch, but it gives you a good idea for how much that you can spend in Budapest if you are a bit more relaxed about how much you're spending. Um, but there have been days where I've only bought a sandwich for like 600 foreign and I haven't paid for any attractions and on those days my spending probably would have come down to about 15 pounds, 16 pounds, something like that. By the same token you could easily blow that budget over 40 pounds if you went for drinks, if you didn't care about where you're eating, so it really is relevant to what you're doing. So there it is. I only showed you a little bit of Budapest but I hope it gave you a good idea for how expensive things are here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.